So in this now, I believe, fourth video, um, what we're going to be doing is putting the solar panel on the van. Uh, going to get up on the roof and put the solar panel on, and then we've got some more prepping of the ceiling to do. Still waiting for the insulation. But, so, but we can get on, we, we can prep some of the uh, ribs and put the, the wooden battens on there, and then possibly we can get started with the cladding as well. So to fit the solar panel, uh, we need a few bits and pieces. Obviously we've got the panel itself, we've got the um, tails, the leads that come inside of the van. We've got this fixing kit for the roof. We've got some Sikaflex. Now it says that you can just put this on with Sikaflex and it's okay. So I've drilled some holes in here and I have some little bolts. And I just thought better to be safe than sorry, you know. So I'm going to bolt it, I'm going to put them on with Sikaflex. But I'm also going to put a bolt through each one of them just to hold it. We also have this um, gland where the wires come through into the van. Uh, I've got a drill, tape measure, marker pen. So I'm going to get some step ladders, get up on top of the van and start placing this out and see where it's going to go. Bit grubby. Now the panel itself is um, 51 centimetres wide and it's 101 centimetres in length. So we want a placement where we're not going to hit the ribs um, with the bolts and where we get plenty of the sicker flex on. Now this front panel here, this here looks like a good placement for, for the front of the panel. So I'm going to mark that up, I'll find the centre of it and then mark up exactly where the panel is going to go. So this is the centre of the van. This is the degreaser. And this panel is going to get a good clean. Okay, so our panel is 51, which makes that 25 and a half either way. So we have 25 and a half to here and 51 is there. So that's the actual width of the panel. Right, so I've got these roughly positioned. Just make sure. Ooh. That says more, much more. Ah, this one's not lined up. Right, sorry. Right, that one's lined up there. And that one is lined up there. And in between that should be 51. Yeah, could go just a little bit more. So I'm just going to mark here so that I can see this a bit easier. Mark the side of it down there. And just mark that as the top stop. Now, measure once more. Let's see that is in place there. That's 51. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of wiggle room. Take it that way just that much. And then also mark it. Now on the far side of this, it, there's all, it's hitting a ridge. So we will just try to fill that up with Sikaflex once this is all stuck on. But first we want to get those holes drilled out for the bolts. have seen better days. Now I want to get all of these shards of metal off here as well. Um, try to pick them up. Mm. So here comes the Sikaflex. Good. Now, I'll just tidy that edge up. So as I say, we'll just fill up this void underneath here with a little bit more of the Sikaflex. Let's 
it's plenty. And equally we'll clean that up just to make it neat. Nice neat finish on it. We'll put that through there first and position it through there first. There it is. And then we'll push that down. That's a good join. Now I've placed this one on. Um, again, different sort of position. We're not on a full rib here, we're just on this piece of the rib. But I found some of this. This is like a caravan um, skylight sealant stuff. And a couple of layers of that underneath may just pull this up a bit um, to help the Sikaflex to adhere. But we've got it positioned there. Um, I'm now measuring this front one from the side of the van. That's 51 centimetres. If we measure this one from the side of the van, 51 centimetres. And we measure the internal length of them, and that's 101. And there's about three mil play or clearance on there. So we're just going to again mark the bolt hole first and mark the position so we can put it back in that same position. It's the same thing as the other one. Uh, we're going to drill the hole, get the Sikaflex on, stick it in place, and then we'll bolt it on from the inside. Okay, so the panel is on. Looks like a decent fit as well. The last thing to do with this before we call it finished is just put some screws through here, uh, some self tappers to hold that in place. Then we'll put the um, gland on the other side. Right, so that's the panel on. Uh, just need to tighten up these bolts and we know it's good. Now, the next thing to consider is the placement of the wires coming into the van. I think I'm going to put them about here, then I'll run the wire this way behind this panel and it can come out into the charge controller here. So we need to drill a 20 mil hole in the roof to get the wires through, put one of those O-rings around it, and then Sikaflex the gland box thing on. So we'll do that now. So that makes the placement of the box about here. So roughly here, we'll drill 20 mil hole. Okay, so all this is in place. Wires are through here, the glands are on. I'm just going to give them a little nip. They are plastic threads, so we don't want to do, overdo it. But at the same time, we want a nice waterproof seal. I think that's a complete seal. So, Now I'll just clean that up with my finger, I forgot the doofer. So I'll just clean that up like that. Once a little bit more, just again to make absolutely sure that we're we'll getting no water in here. That's looking good. Now we're going to tighten up the outer part of the gland to get a nip on the wire. And I'm also going to sick a flex up the back end of them again, just to make absolutely sure. Now I've got the tail ends from the uh, solar panel here. And I assume they're live at this point. I don't know whether that would be right, uh, but my assumption may be correct. So therefore, I'm just going to cover them up for the time being with a little bit of electrician's tape. So we can get these behind this piece of panelling. That would be very good. Okay, that's looking good. Then we've got this down this channel here uh, behind the um, trim clips for most of it. And we've got enough there. The charge controller is going to be about here. It's going to be outside of the battery box. So it's going to be about here so we can get quick access to it and see how everything is going. So for now, I'm just going to push those wires in there. 
peeping out the way and that's the solar panel everything in place good okay so the next thing we're going to do here is start tackling the ceiling um, uh, again I'm waiting for this insulation to arrive it'll be here soon I'm sure uh, we're going to do the ceiling we're going to put some strips across these ribs I've got a three and a half mil 3.6 mil ply which I'm going to put I'm going to paint that black then put it on and I've got some cladding which I'm not going to do the tongue and groove I'm going to take cut the tongue and the groove off and so we have tram lines uh, so you can see the black tram, tram lines uh, beyond the cladding so uh, we'll get on with the roof with prepping the roof up and then it'll be a matter of prepping those materials painting them and getting them ready for to install I've got some of this um, I think this is 12 mil by 44 and we're going to use that to put across the ceiling uh, ribs so to speak so we just want to take a measurement of this pillar and I think what we'll do is these little catches on the side will go into them so difficult to get in that one but we're going to say that is uh, 149. Now to help with this sort of job I got a couple of these things from Screwfix. Um, it's like an expanding pole and that's held the uh, the batten in place so both hands are free to put the screws in. Very useful thing. I'll just show you this whole thing. The, um, the batten is in place. What I'm going to do is just tighten it up to the ceiling. These wires are in the voids, obviously. Um, now, what we want is a drill bit. But the thing to do would be to put this drill bit far enough back in the drill so that there's absolutely no chance of it going through the roof. Um, you know, if you're putting a bit of force on your hand, slips, poof, easy, easily done. So, um, the amount of drill on there is nowhere near the root, so I'm happy with that. Right, that's them four main battens on, but we'll have this to contend with. Um, I want a batten along here, obviously, and that needs to be the same depth and curvature as the battens on the roof so far. So what we're going to do to find that out, find out where it sits, so we've just got this straight edge and if we put that against the battens which are already there, we'll then have a point to mark it and see what sort of wood is going to be best. Oh there, right, if we hold that steady, so that's coming to there do another one a little bit further along. So I think what I'll do with that, I've got some wood which is 15 mil, sorry, 18 mil thick, and I think it's about 22 in depth. And we should be able to get a piece of that along there with the bottom of it just coming flush with these marks. Let's try that. Let me show you what I've done with that. I've cut the wood to length, and I've just notched out this little part in the corner to take those wires through and I've notched out a little piece up there just to accommodate this. Now I've put a big screw through the middle of it and what I'm going to do is just pull it into shape and put the other screws in. See this part here, we've got this mark. So just pull down to that mark and screw in. And we should have the same curvature on that as we have the rest of the ceiling. The ceiling battens anyway. All right, so that's in place. I'm just going to put a couple of more screws in there just to make it nice and secure. And then we'll go to the back and do a similar thing. Now, for this upper back section. So we'll put a single piece of batten in here. Do the same on the other side. Then we'll have to consider getting around this light somehow. But we'll do these bits first. Okay, that one's in. 
Do the same on the other side and then we'll consider the light. Okay, so what we've gone for with this back bit is I put these two battens in. I'm going to take a button from here to here, another one from there to there, and then I'll put a little piece in and that will give enough to secure the uh, cladding, etc., for the ceiling once that goes in. So that's that all done. The only other point of concern is this. Um, that there's not going to be anything to fix the ceiling onto here. So again, what I may do is take another batten similar to this from here to here, and that should give it enough grip in itself. We'll have to see if we can somehow connect it to this as well, I think. So I haven't looked at this again, this corner. Um, the roof bracket thing, this, I don't think that's going to work. So what I propose to do is stick a piece of wood to this here. Um, I'll probably put that on with some epoxy resin and just a couple of very small self-tapping screws. And that'll just give us a ground for the um, for the board which goes over the ceiling. So this is the piece. I've cut this and uh, shaped it this way. And the idea is that'll sit on there like that, in line with that, and that'll just give us enough there. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes here and I'm going to mix up a little epoxy resin. That should hold it. Last bits are always the trickiest. But we have that in place. We have all the rest of the roof battens on. That's all good. And still, we wait for insulation. So whilst we wait for that insulation, we're going to start prepping up the um, cladding for the roof. I'm going to measure up, find out exactly how much I need, and then I'm going to cut the tongues and the grooves off. Now, we'll either get that done on this band saw, possibly, um, or if not, I'll have to set the table up the table saw up for it but that's the next task okay so in the workshop to do this and we had to rearrange things a little bit here and it's just the length of these pieces of cladding they're three meters long and i believe the van was 293 so i wanted the full piece to go right the way through the ceiling um and i think the best way to take the tongues and the grooves off this is going to be with the table saw so we have the saw set up here I've run a couple through and it seems to be going okay. Um, so the deal here is, whack this on, push this through, and we'll take the two off, and we'll do it again on the other side, take the groove off. And that will give us the exact width of this. And then from that, we can work out how many we need to cover the ceiling, with a gap in there as well. Probably an eight mil or 10 mil gap. But here we go. calculator has broken I've just had to calculate this elsewhere but you know that this piece of wood is 80 millimeters wide and it's going to have a gap in between of eight millimeters which is same as its depth the van itself is uh, 1660 probably a little bit narrower than that actually at the top because of the ribs around the um, around the top of the van um, but if we divide the 1660 by the 88, we get 18.8. .8. So, I'm going to cut 20 of these, just to be on the safe side, one may snap, you never know. Uh, I'm going to cut the tongues and the grooves off 20 of these, then I'm going to sand the edges down, just put a little radius on them again, and that's the first thing prepped. got 20 of them done. Um, there they are. They're all ready for a little bit of sanding, just along the edges, as I say, put the radius back on, make them all look nice. Then I'm going to give them a coat of white emulsion. Um, white emulsion because 
I want a half sanded back off to give it a sort of lime washed uh, driftwood sort of look and then on top of that I'm going to put a clear lacquer on so the lacquer will protect it uh, the emulsion really is just for the look of it okay so that's it for this episode um, if you've enjoyed the uh, video do consider subscribing to the channel it does help in many ways and uh, give it a thumbs up if you've liked it now in the next episode we are going to be putting the insulation in the ceiling and we're going to tackle the vapor barrier around the whole van so if you want to see the whole build unfold um, as it goes uh, do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching